when you're a professional footballer, you live for these moments. You you train so hard. In one aspect, you 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 got this dream move to the Premier League, and then you got a contract that says. 25 million if your team gets relegated, 75 million if your team survives. And then you get told that a team, a super team in Spain is looking at you, but only if you go down, the 25 million is activated, which is easier to, to get done. The wages have been agreed that that's not going to be a problem. But here's the problem, your team's got eight games to go. What do you do? That's why we're talking about Leeds United's Rafinha here. I'm Ty Knight here for TK24 Sports. And now if you're new to the show, you like, subscribe, you turn that notification on so you don't miss the shows every time we upload. Follow us on TikTok and Twitter as well. So let's get into it. Leeds United's Rafinha has been, let's say, tapped up by Barcelona. But the problem is, if he gets relegated, it's only 25 million and that's not going to be a problem. Plus the wages have been agreed by his agent Deco already. But here's a big problem for Rafinha. With eight games to go, Leeds United are going to be counting on him to keep them in the Premier League for survival. They don't want to go back down and take years to come back up again. But here's the other issue for Rafinha. 25 million is so easy for Barcelona to pay that money for Leeds United for them for him to go. But should Barcelona and well, Barcelona if Leeds United end up staying in the Premier League, it's going to cost him 75 million to come out of that contract. But for other Premier League teams in the fray who could be watching Rafinha from afar, from the likes of Manchester City, could be moving on Raheem Sterling as well as Riyad Mahrez to make room for Rafinha to make that deal more possible. Uh, plus with the wages on top because it's going to be 75 million plus wages. But more than likely Rafinha's heart is set on. Going to Barcelona rather than staying in England. But should that move not happen and Leeds United end up staying in the Premier League, more than likely you can see Rafinha going to a top six team. You've also got Liverpool in the fray as well. If Mo Salah doesn't sign that contract with Liverpool, Liverpool could opt and sell Mo Salah, use that money for Rafinha and also the wages as well, which wouldn't be a big deal for Rafinha because I think he may like that move also. But I still think his heart is set on Barcelona. But then what about Arsenal? Could they go into Rafinha or are they going to look at Manchester United? Could Manchester United then think of, you know what, let's do a double deal here. We sell Rashford to Arsenal for about 40, 50 million. We then go after Rafinha once Ten Hag gets appointed. And he should get appointed. Would Tottenham enter the fray? Of course not. With Chelsea. But the problem is with Chelsea, they still got to get a buyer. And then they still got to sanction, you know, get the sanction out of the way from that club takeover. But this, we're talking about next season, so I can't see that being a problem as well. But then who did Chelsea move on to? They move on the likes of a Werner, a Pulisic, maybe a Lukaku, but they're going to keep Kai Havertz. So all this is in the mix for Rafinha. But what do you do if you're him? Do you down tools and say, do you know what? Guess what, eight games, I don't have no love for this club anyway. So if they go down, I get to go for 25 million to Barcelona. My agent's really set this up. Does he start putting on like, mysterious injuries and coming off at like 60 minutes and Leeds United are down 2-1 and they need his talisman to come on and rescue them? Leeds United fans, how do you feel about this? Waking up knowing that your player with eight games to go has been tapped up to go to Barcelona for 25 million if they go down. You must feel sick in your stomach thinking, do you know what, this is the end again. And not the end of the sense that Leeds United can't come back up, but how long did it take for them to come back up? Last season, they were a revelation. Now, they played some great football, Bielsa, people couldn't figure them out. This season, you can see who Leeds United really are. They've got a great player. Oh, I'm so sorry. They've got a great player. But they're going to have to try and somehow keep hold of him. When I say keep hold of him, keep his head in the game for this season. And yes, they may rock his £25 million move to Barcelona because then his contract states it's £75 million. But hey, you've got to talk to your agent about that as to why do you negotiate £75 million and, only to, and £25 million if I go down? Why can't you just negotiate to £50 million as a halfway joint? But hey, that's what happens. But I'd like to know your thoughts. Leave your comments below, subscribe, and keep on subscribing because now we're growing every day in such a fast rate. Thank you so much for the community that we're building here. I can't do this without you guys. I need you to keep sharing, liking, subscribing, and turn that notification on so every time we upload, you will get the views straight away. Thank you for watching. I'm Ty Knight here for TK24 Sports.